a lot of people are scared of doing small talk because they think, oh, you know, will this person be interested in what I'm saying? Am I going to be able to keep the conversation going? And all these different things. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple things to help you with your small talk. You've probably found yourself in a conversation talking about a subject with someone. Maybe it's about a restaurant this time. You're talking about how you ate there and what you thought of the food. And the person doesn't really say anything and the conversation dies really quickly. Okay, this is a really typical thing and the problem here is you put the focus of the conversation on yourself too much. You want to remember that a conversation requires two people. You're not talking at someone, you're talking with someone. So what you want to do is instead of having the conversational topic surround yourself, you want to bring the focus to the other person. Once you can do that, you take the work off of yourself and the conversation starts to flow more easily. You do so by asking questions. I want you to think of these conversations kind of like a subway train. Now the fuel for these subway trains to start moving are these questions that you ask. So once you start asking these questions, the subway train starts moving and whenever you feel like it, you can actually jump on, jump into this I guess you can say subway train of conversation and contribute to it. So you're probably asking now what are some good conversational topic questions? Well, instead of just giving you these canned questions that may sound really scripted or robotic, I'm going to give you a couple different frameworks that you can use so you don't ever have to worry about quote unquote running out of stuff to say. This one is called the past, present, future framework. What you want to do is you want to take a C topic and you want to apply this framework to it to turn it into three separate conversational topics. So if we're talking about career, for example, once you apply the uh, past, present, future framework to it, you turn it into the question of what were you doing before and what are you doing now or any career changing plans for the future. Once you apply this framework, you get all these different conversational topics that other people can link onto. If you're talking about schooling for the future, then you can go on to the topic of, I don't know, politics or maybe economy or all these different things. So the thing is, once you can take a C topic, in this case, the career topic, and you can apply the past, present, future framework to it, you turn one topic into many different topics. To recap, instead of thinking that you have to talk and talk and talk during a conversation, you want to remember that a conversation requires two people. So you want to take the attention off of yourself and move the attention over onto the other person. How do you do this? With the questions that you ask. Lastly, you can come up with many different interesting conversational questions by using the past, present, future framework on a seed topic.